Well guys, it is with a bit of irony today that I am wearing shorts and we are talking about snow equipment. But it's that time of year, didn't you know? It's time for the 5% off preseason sale at Goodworks Tractors on your snow pushers, your snow blowers, and your snow plows. I've been doing this for several years now. It's proved to be a pretty big hit. You know, you get your order in now, get 5% off, get a deposit on whatever you want, okay? You're your entire order. So if you want to order a quick hitch or a set of pallet forks or a grapple or whatever else you want to order at the same time as your piece of snow equipment, you get 5% off that entire order on orders placed by August 31st, okay? I put in my big order at that point. They come in typically around the end of October, beginning of November, right around that time frame. Once they come in, we just settle up on the balance and I ship them out or you pick them up here, whatever you want to do. I'll go ahead and give you a little spin around all these different attachments right here. They're going to be available in a lot of different configurations. I'll give you that brief checklist there of what you can get in each different item that we're going to look at. Stay tuned. Hey, and if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video, okay? And also read through the description as well. That's where I put all the links to where you can get more information on these different products here. On my website, right now I'm set up to take orders manually, okay? There's no way to buy them directly online, so just get a hold of me, send me an email. I can get you uh, whatever information you need as far as configuration and pricing and options and shipping and all that kind of thing. Okay, so first thing for the snow pusher and the snow plow that you're gonna see on either end here, these are gonna go on the front end of your tractor on your loader to be precise, okay? That snow plow down there does not go on the frame, the front frame of the, of the tractor is gonna be a loader mount snow plow on there. So you can get those in a John Deere quick attach and a skid steer quick attach, a global quick attach, or even custom order them for certain pin down styles or other various quick attach systems that might be out there, but a little bit more obscure. Now, as far as these snow blowers go, they're going to be category one or category two, category three, that kind of thing. Okay. So if you have a category one machine, which is essentially any subcompact or compact tractor on the market, I'm sure there's an exception somewhere, but virtually all of them are going to be category one. Once you kind of get to like an M series and like a Kubota or um, a five series and John Deere or something equivalent to that, typically you're going to be up into the category two. Okay, so paint colors are going to be some options as well. So for the snow plows here, you're either going to have green if it's a John Deere quick attach or gray if it's going to be like a skid steer quick attach, for example. Um, on the snow blowers and the, the snow pushers that are down there, you do have a lot more options as well. So you can get them in green, gray, black, orange, blue, red, probably some others as well if you wanted to. So a lot of options with those. Kind of just depends on manufacturer that, you know, uh, um, offers the color selections. Okay, so now let's talk about edges available for equipment. So steel is going to be the most common that you see, kind of standard on a lot of equipment out there. Going to be very good, the most durable, um, going to be great for like gravel drives. Um, most of this equipment is going to come with skid shoes or skid runners so that you can, you can raise up that cutting edge, that steel cutting edge off the ground just a smidge, you know, so you're not um, either scraping up your asphalt or your concrete if you have a paved driveway or you're not carrying away all the gravel and stone if you have a crushed stone driveway. So the other option that's common for the uh, snow pushers and for, or sorry, for the snow pushers and for the snow plows is going to be rubber, okay? And so these rubber edges are going to be great for making that solid contact on your paved surfaces, all right? They're not going to cut through packed snow and ice like a steel edge is going to do, but they are going to last a very long time. So they're quite durable. They're going to be more protective of those more delicate surfaces. So along that same line, the snow blowers here that you're gonna see from MK Martin are gonna come with, you can kind of see the white edges on here and I'm, I'm hopefully sprinkling in some close-ups throughout this video, but uh, the Tyvar is another upgrade that is offered on the snow blowers, which is, again is designed for those more, more delicate surfaces like your, um, your concrete and your asphalt or you know, paved you know, uh, decorative stone or, or block or whatever it might be. Okay, so a little bit more detail on the snow blowers here. You're gonna be able to get both a pull type or a traditional drive backwards uh, style of three-point snow blower. Again, these go on the back of the tractor. And what you're staring at here, you can see the three-point hitch is actually mounted up front. There's a PTO shaft that goes right down inside here. I don't have that mounted, but the PTO shaft would hook up, you know, everything would hook up to the back of your tractor just like a, a tiller would do or a brush hog would do, for example. And then you just simply drive forward over the snow. Um, you know, my distributor has sold just a boatload of these. He suggested I start selling them, so I've done so. I actually got this one in for my tractor uh, previously and then you know I got it too late in the season didn't have a chance to try it out for myself. Now you're gonna see this comes uh, with some hydraulic options that are on here. You can get an electric uh, rotation as well or hydraulic rotation. It'll come standard with manual rotation. Now when you think about hydraulics that are on a snowblower to be able to uh, rotate the chute to direct the snow wherever you want to go, you have to have additional functions on your tractor, okay? So if you don't have those additional hydraulic functions or SCV, selective control valves, then you're not gonna be able to run a hydraulic angling 
um, uh, rotation on here. So you could get electric, that could be an option for you, or you could stick with manual. Now there's back drags that are available on these snow blowers as well, so you can drop those down if you want to go up to um, a garage door or whatever else and pull snow away. You can do that with the back drags that are on here as well. There's a lot of ways you can configure these snow blowers. Again, you can drive forward with them or you can get the kind where you traditionally think of you turn around and you drive backwards with them. A great one-two punch is a snow pusher or a plow on the front and then a snow blower on the back. So last year was the first year for these snow plows offered by Tar River and I pretty much sold every one that I had. So recently I was able to get a couple more of the 60s, um, so I got them just because I know I'm going to sell them. So again, you can get these in the Skid Steer Quick Attach or the John Deere Quick Attach. Obviously they're loader mounted, okay? These are not frame mounted. You have to have a Quick Attach system on your machine there in order to run them. So as they're going to come standard with manual angle, an option is going to be upgrade to a hydraulic angle. It does have the hose holder right here already in there. It's got the brackets here and then there's one tucked underneath as well. Uh, so you can mount that hydraulic cyl cylinder on here. It's going to come less hoses and fittings. Uh, reason for that, and a lot of manufacturers do that, is because every tractor configuration is different with the fittings that are on there and with the length of hose that's required. So you're going to see most manufacturers out there don't include hoses and fittings, but it's something to keep in mind because it is typically an additional cost above and beyond what you're looking at here, the snow plow and then if you get the optional hydraulic angling kit. And now I did a couple videos on these snow plows last winter. I'd encourage you to check them out. They are very, very beefy and rugged compared to some of the other uh, manufacturers that are out there. So check that out and you're going to see these things are built like a tank. They're going to stand the test of time and, and do really well for you. This snow pusher here is a little bit beat up. This is something that I was using last year. So if you see it scraped up and everything else, that's the reason why. But, you know, snow pushers are probably the number one selling snow removal piece of equipment that I that I sell. Um, you know, they're great for a variety of reasons. We'll kind of get into that here too. And I'll kind of tell you the strengths and the weaknesses of each one of these kinds of machines or um, of implements. But snow pushers, what you see up top here is called a back drag. This is this big black hunk of steel here. What you can do if you're gonna like dump your bucket, like imagine you had a, a bucket full of dirt and you want to dump it out, use that same action. And what happens is you roll this forward. And so as you roll it forward, this becomes your scraping edge. So you can go up to a building and pull snow away from it. Um, or again, use it in the traditional fashion and then push the snow. They are a great design. You're just going to see that there's no um, corner supports in here that are going to trap snow. It's not a flat back. It's a radius back to help that snow roll forward and release and stay where you want it to. The back drags fully enclose the top instead of a thin three or four inch strip like a lot of the manufacturers have out there. They're just a really well-built piece of equipment. I sell an absolute boatload of these things. One of the great things that they did uh, a year or two ago is they went from a welded on bracket here to a, um, a bolt on bracket. And so that's already proven its value in the last year or so, whatever it's been. In fact, I just had uh, a gentleman today who had ordered one of these last year, the year before, and I think he had a John Deere quick attach and he just got a skid steer, wants to put a skid steer quick attach on there. So all you have to do is just order the replacement plate back here instead of getting a whole new pusher to fit that machine. Again, I've done a lot of videos on all sorts of details and the, and the strengths and the weaknesses about these. So I'll briefly go over those now. That way you kind of have it all in one place. But check out that playlist on my YouTube channel about the snow removal equipment. So snow pushers are going to be the simplest design, okay? There's no additional hydraulic to deal with. There's no additional electric to deal with. You just simply put it on like you would your bucket and away you go. So they're great for a trace amount of snow. They're great for, you know, 16 inches of snow, okay? So they're good for everything in between, whether it's that light fluffy snuff stuff or the wet heavy stuff. You know, with the back drag on here, you can get into all those little nooks and crannies and push the snow and move it wherever you want to. These things aren't designed to scoop snow at all. They're just designed to push snow, you know, so you're not gonna throw snow with it like you're a snow blower. So it's gonna have limitations. You gotta have somewhere to push all the snow. So think ahead when you're going ahead, um, when you're getting ready for your snow removal in the beginning of the year, have that plan in place on where you can push all that snow. That way you don't, block yourself up front and not have a place to push it later on in the season. So snow blowers here really excel at that deep snow, okay? So not so good for an inch or two. You kind of have to treat it like a snow pusher for those small snowfalls. And then once you start to get a larger volume of it, then it'll really work well. So when you have deeper snows, snow blowers are going to be fantastic for that. They're going to make quick work of it. They're going to shoot that snow a mile away, wherever you want it. They're not ideal for those lighter, fluffier snows. They're going to have those strengths and weaknesses there, but something to be said was quickly clearing that, that snow and kind of spraying it all out. No mounds to worry about. It's just going to scatter it all over there. You can shoot it wherever you want. So snow plows are going to be great as well. The downside for me with the snow plow is they do stick out the farthest from the machine. And I feel like you lose a little bit of control the further out that you go. But a lot of folks are really familiar and very comfortable with snow plows. So I understand why they are a popular option. 
I kind of always gravitate towards the snow pusher, but you know what? That's just me and everybody's got their own feelings on the subject and that's just fine. So again, they're gonna come standard with a manual rotation. Um, you gotta have a third function of some kind on here, okay? Or a diverter kit or whatever else if you wanna get that hydraulic angling. Otherwise, you're gonna have to hop off the machine, pull a couple of pins out, rotate it to the other angle that you want, put those pins back in and then get back to work. But similar to a snow pusher, a snow plow is gonna be great for a lot of different scenarios. You know, those smaller snows, those deeper snows, the wet, the fluffy, whatever it is, it can kind of handle all. It's just snow, it's gonna push it. And again, you gotta have a place to move that material. You gotta have a place to store it, make sure you get it far enough back so you don't run out of space throughout the course of the season. So I don't really like to put pricing in the videos because it is gonna fluctuate. It's gonna change from time to time. So again, I do put all the links right below. So if you really want more information on these attachments here, just click those links below. You go right to the website, you get the pricing, you, the options, you know, all the things that you kind of forgot throughout this video and things that I forgot, they're hopefully gonna be right in the listings there. If not, just get a hold of me. But snow pushers are typically gonna be your cheapest option followed by uh, snow plows. And then after that, snow blowers are gonna be the most expensive. You know, so for any kind of snow removal equipment that's going to be on the front end of your machine, you need to have proper ballast weight, okay, counterweight. So four-wheel drive is going to make a big difference, but oftentimes to push that snow, you got to get that power to the rear tires there, you know, what's making contact with the surface. And so you get more weight on the back end, you know, you're going to get more power. So sometimes even with that, you might still need tire chains, you might need tire studs, something else to help keep that, that traction going, but don't discount ballast weight, okay, you really need to have it. If you're looking for a good setup with suitcase weights, Heavy Hitch has a really good weight bar. This is a double weight bar. You can get a single, a double. You can get suitcase weights from them. You get all sorts of really cool stuff from Heavy Hitch, but go to heavyhitch.com. Anything you get there, 5% off with discount code GWT. So GWT, you get 5% off. Again, you get 5% off. Get your order in now. Anything you order at, on that same order there, okay? So if you get um, you know, a piece of snow equipment here, you get a quick hitch, you get pallet forks, you get a grapple, you get whatever else you want to add on. Anything on that order, you're going to get 5% off. We can ship them. You can pick them up. You got to get that $500 deposit on there now. It's going to hold it for you. Then I get them ordered there. They come in around the end of October, beginning of November, somewhere in that general time frame. We get them shipped out at that point. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button underneath the video. Read through the description as well, a lot of helpful links, more information on the website for all these different attachments right here. And make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.